Darren Leslie here with my review of the final Civil War trailer. The trailer starts out with the Avengers' previous endeavors. They show DC, Sokovia, New York under attack and laid to devastation. Probably should have thrown London in there as well. I love how these events will impact the film, especially Sokovia. 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 It's a fake country. Bear with me. And I love that Scarlet Witch is still reeling from the destruction of her, of her country. For the Avengers, yes, you got everyone out, but you also destroyed a city with something you created. Which I'm really glad they're doing because at the end of Age of Ultron, they kind of brushed off the consequences of the destruction of Ultron. We get a lot more Black Panther in this trailer. He's slicing up tires, beating up Winter Soldiers, and it's looking like a total badass. Black Widow's in action, Scarlet Witch is in action, she's breaking down the vision. I can't wait to see how they explore Scarlet Witch's powers. Her powers are untapped. If you've read the comic books, she's very, very powerful, super powerful. So I can't wait to see how that unfolds. The conflict from the trailer pours off the screen as Stark and Watcher's friendship comes to an end and blows. It looks like, speculation of course, but it looks like the more this movie is going to go on, the more the schism between, between the Avengers is going to become more permanent. Tony in particular gets an emotional segment where he sees his lifelong friend blasted out of the sky. Hearing Downey scream, Rhodes, really got to me and it really, really got to me. I like how this isn't going to be two guys meeting on the street and declaring fisticuffs. And no, that is not a bash against BVS. I know there is a lot more to that conflict. It's just in this movie and in this universe, it's friends, it's family. Having to fight each other, there's history between these characters. Also, is that Zemo? Someone's in there. That might be Zemo. My favorite part of the trailer by far is seeing Hawkeye launch Ant-Man into the sky with one of his arrows toward Iron Man. I have been wanting to see that scene come to life since Earth Mightiest Heroes, and it's just really fun to see that in live action. It's always cool to see Hawkeye or Ant-Man in action. I love I love the archery and I love how they've developed how they developed the action of um of of Ant-Man shrinking tech. And of course, he finally shows up. Now, there's controversy over Spidey's look. Some say he's too CGI, which, admittedly, he kind of does look like that. I had a little bit of the same problem with Black Panther when he showed up in the Super Bowl trailer. But they do still have a few weeks to work all that out, and this, these scenes weren't meant, to be shown, weren't meant to be seen on a computer screen. The effects were made to be watched in a theater. And some even said he should have said nothing. But for me personally, I loved it. This is a great modern adaptation of the suit while throwing back to the 1960s version. And the eyes. I love the eyes. I can't wait to see how that functions within the film. Spider-Man looks great. He sounds great. We've been yearning for him to pop up in a Civil War trailer, so I don't, I don't really understand why everyone's complaining. He's finally in the MCU. Isn't that what we wanted? And for anybody who says they doomsdayed Spider-Man with this trailer, I ask how? Doomsday was a rumored character that popped up at the end of a trailer that seemingly laid the story out for us. And at the end, show two heroes that are supposed to be opposed to each other standing side by side against a common threat. Before the title, Batman v Superman pops up. We knew Spider-Man was going to be in this movie. His appearance doesn't change the stakes, it doesn't change the direction of the film, nor does it hint toward the end of any type of conflict. He's there, he's a part of the show, enjoy it. And Tony saying I've run out of patience is pretty much him speaking for the fans. Overall, I really love this trailer, not as much as the first one. The first one still packed a little bit more of an emotional punch. This trailer still blew me away, and I cannot wait for this film. Let them fight. So what would you think of the Silver War trailer? Please let me know in the comment sections below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like hearing me talk about movies, please hit that subscribe button. Come join the conversation. Also, check out my 10 Cloverfield Lane review. I'm Darren Leslie Jr., and I'm going to go watch this trailer about five more times. I'll catch you guys later.